Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to the channel. Today's look, we are going to be doing something that's mostly Fenty Beauty, but not at all Fenty Beauty whatsoever, but I tried to make as many Fenty Beauty products in this look happen, and I only have stuff from the beginning of her launching her whole entire cosmetic line. Today's video is basically just doing this eye look, um, complete with a little bit of eyeshadow, playing with some Diamond Bomb and Kilowatt highlighters, concerning I don't really have very many, or I don't have any, um, eyeshadows from Fenty Beauty or anything like that. Also, I had to kind of substitute a lot of things considering I don't have very many face products with them, but it is perfectly fine. I made it work. <laughs> Bear with me here. <laughs> so, if you want to see any of this tutorial, please keep on watching. Wait, hold on one second. My phone's ringing. Uh, yes? Hello? Yeah. I've seen that too. Yeah. Some people who watch my videos don't subscribe, so maybe you should do that right before we start this video. Don't play me. Don't play me at all. Because I see my analytics already, and it's like 69% of you. 69. 69% of you aren't subscribed. Why is that? Tell me. What's going on in there? What makes you think that you can't subscribe? It's right there. It's down there right below. Yes, I do have a giant zit on my forehead yet again. Ooh. Acne just loves me, you know? I always bring the, the acnes in, you know? <laughs> Let's do this. So first item we're gonna use is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I thought it was just gonna... Oh. I don't really use as much, so I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put it on my eyelids, but we did it anyway. Frick! Next, we're gonna use some Fenty Beauty with a soon to be damp beauty blender. Son of a I'm back, and it's actually a beauty bakery sponge. <laughs> Today, we're gonna use a Pro Filter Soft Matte uh, Fenty Foundation. I haven't used it in such a long time that this is probably not my shade. Nowhere near my shade, but are, is that gonna stop us? No, because we don't care. It is the shade 190. It's not too bad. Now that we're white as a ghost and my headband is slightly turning, um, we are going to go in with some concealers. So we're gonna go in with our Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. Just the huge. We're not gonna talk about how broke I am and I can't afford the Fenty concealer. To probably ruin our look, we're gonna go ahead and use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in neutralizer. And to make it all better, considering that I messed up whatever I was doing, I'm gonna use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in light vanilla. I don't know why I continuously try to do stuff that's different when I know what's good for me. I stop playing myself. And because I cannot afford the contour stick, we are going Bruh. to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Fawn. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Now, because I tend to crease a little more because of this specific foundation and concealer combo, I'm gonna go ahead and use my little Beta Bakery sponge and then just kind of pad out the creases one last time before I powder. Here, we're gonna use the Laura Mercier powder. If you're wondering what Fenty Beauty stuff does she have, it's all of the old first stuff. It's still good, but. It's all from before. I think I have anything recent that wrong. <laughs> Next we're gonna use some bronzer and we're gonna use the NARS Laguna bronzer because 
That's all I got. Next we're going to use a MAC Peaches blush. I'm sure they probably have a blush somewhere, but your girl cannot afford it. The thing I have is the Kilowatt highlighters, and I have them in Lightning Dust, Fire Crystal, and Mean Money, Hustle Baby. And if you're kind of confused about the names, but ugh, they look like this. Now it's time to bring our brows back. Yes, I don't have the Fenty Beauty new brow pencil. So we're gonna use the next one, and it's the shade Ash Brown. So we're gonna comb out our brows first, and then just lightly. Wow, why is she out guns a blazing like that? Now that we have brows on, we're gonna go ahead and go in with the of course, Lime Crime Brow Mascara. So we're gonna go ahead and just brush through our brows. If you get a little crazy with the tinted brow gel, just go ahead and go in with a plain spoolie. Spoolie? <laughs> if you get a little crazy with some brow gel that's tinted, go ahead and take a little plain old spoolie like this and just comb it through. Sometimes I get like little, sometimes I get little specks of just the tint and it looks wrong. Like you can tell there's product just chilling in your brow. That ain't cute. So now we're going to move on to our eyes and I'm going to zoom you in in one second, but I'm going to show you the product that I'm going to use. Yes, it looks familiar because it is my bronzer, the Laguna bronzer. And I'm just going to go in with this little BH Cosmetics brush. It looks something like this. And then we're gonna go ahead and take this bronzer and put it in our crease and right in our crease. Take this Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm How Many Carrots. Today we're gonna use it for all over our eyelid. Hi, I can speak. And we're gonna use another BH Cosmetics brush. Looks something like this, like a little flat brush. And we just gently sweep it on the brush and then we're gonna sweep it on our eyelid. We're gonna use our Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in Trophy Wife and we're gonna go ahead and use this for our inner corner. And I'm gonna go on with the Morphe M421 brush. Looks like, looks like, looks like this. I'm feeling this little crease color but at the same time I kind of want to diffuse it and I'm gonna use this random MAC shadow. I don't remember what it's called, but I believe it's like Kid or something, if I remember correctly. I'm sorry, I don't know the name. We're just going to go back into the crease. Now that it's more to my liking, I'm going to go ahead and use another BH Cosmetics brush. And I'm going to diffuse the very top where my brow bone and crease color and for the bottom uh, portion of my eye, I'm going to go back in with the Laguna Bronzer and just sweep underneath. And then we're going to use the same MAC shadow again as well. So now I'm going to go in with our Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil and Perversion. And we're going to go in both the top and bottom waterline. So now that we've done our waterline, we're going to go ahead and smoke out the bottom and we're going to use the same little brush that we used to disperse the shadow underneath. And we're going to go right where the liner and the shadow meet and we're just going to buff it out. But it looks like this. <laughs> now that we're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and blend both of them. This one's a little more crazy than this one. So I'm going to blend both of them with a Real Techniques Dome brush. Next I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. And wing it. Unfortunately my fly liner is probably donezos. Because I'm getting half of the pigment every time I do a stroke. 
So I'm going to go in with my tried and true Epic Ink Liner um, from NYX. If you hear any like hard swallowing, it's because I'm super focused and I'm not breathing really. <laughs> and if you mess up, go ahead and take like a little tiny teeny tiny little brush and just kind of sweep it while it's fresh. And if it smears like this, all you gotta do is take a little Q-tip and sweep that up. I'm gonna add more of this Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in Trophy Wipe just to kind of give more emphasis on the gold. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Hopefully we get it correctly. <laughs> I'm back. Um, it's been about a million years and I've gone through about 10,000 bottles of concealer and 10,000 eyeliners because it is hard to match liner, okay? <laughs> At least close together. I know they're not exact, but deal with it. So next we're going to curl our lashes. And I'm going to gently coat our lashes with the Hourglass Caution. Caution mascara. Yes, I only have the tiny one because I'm broke. Don't make me say it again. And now we're gonna apply our lashes off camera because I'm not good at putting on lashes and I don't want you to judge me. That's the real truth, honest truth. So these are the Region Rogue Ballerina Noirs. So now that we're done with lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and put bottom mascara on. So now for lips, I'm going to go ahead and go with this tiny, 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 tiny little Casey Wear lip liner. I don't know what shade it is, but I've had it for so long and it's this tiny now. And now for the lipstick, I'm going to use the Fenty Stunna Lip Paint and Unbutton. And I'm just using a tiny little flat brush to kind of blend everything together. To prevent mixing anything, I'm going to go ahead and use the same flat brush and the Fenty Milk, Diamond Milk Gloss Bomb. And I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand and use that same flat brush. It just smells like everything's sweet in this world and just... I love you. So good. For the sake of being extra, I'm going to go ahead and go back in with the How Many Carrots Diamond Bomb. And I'm going to put this pretty much all over where I highlighted it before. So that's all I have for you guys today. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, I hope you guys liked it. I promise you, if you subscribe, we're just going to have a hell of a party. I'll tell you that. I'll do literally whatever videos you want. I'll do a mukbang. I'll do a get ready with me with a chicken nugget. What? Come on. I'm here for you. Subscribe. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye.